Recently, a video of China's sixth-generation fighter jet went viral, and it shocked the whole world. Why? Because no other country has built one yet. Not even the U.S., which is still developing it. As for us Indians, our target is to build a fifth-generation jet by 2035. In this video, we'll explore China's sixth-generation fighter jet and some of the amazing new technologies it comes with. These jets are truly game-changers. Why? Because they're built using cutting-edge stealth technology designed to avoid radar and infrared sensors. This means they could enter enemy territory and return without being detected. That's how dangerous and advanced they are. Let's first understand what these generations of fighter jets mean. Every country is focused on building advanced weapons today. But without aircraft to carry them, weapons are useless. Over time, fighter jets have become faster and more powerful. To explain speed, let's start with the speed of sound. About 1,225 kilometers per hour. In fighter jet terms, this is called Mach 1. First-generation jets were slower than sound, called subsonic. Then came supersonic jets that fly between Mach 1 and Mach 5. And now, sixth-generation jets are aiming for hypersonic speeds, faster than Mach 5. China's Chengdu J-36 is being called a prototype sixth-generation fighter jet. We created a 3D model of it based on viral footage and China's earlier J 25th generation aircraft. While it's not an exact replica, it gives us a pretty good idea. A key function of fighter jets is to carry heavy weapons, which means they need strong wings. From the video, the J 36 seems to have a wide wingspan, possibly around 20 meters. In comparison, China's J-20 has a wingspan of 13 meters, and India's Rafale has just 10.9 meters. Bigger wings can also carry more fuel, giving this jet an estimated range of around 3,000 kilometers. Plus, the jet is built using stealth design, meaning radar waves can't easily detect it. Its wings have a diamond-shaped trailing edge, which scatters radar signals away, making it nearly invisible to detection systems. To understand this, imagine a torchlight aimed at a flat mirror. The light reflects straight back. But if the mirror is tilted, the light deflects to another direction. That's exactly what the stealth design does with radar signals. The wings also seem to be swept back at an angle of about 49 degrees. The more swept the wings, the less air resistance, which improves speed, stability, and maneuverability, all critical in dogfights. Now, what does maneuverability mean? It's the jet's ability to make quick turns in the air, useful in dodging enemy attacks or outmaneuvering other jets. Fourth-generation jets already had great agility, but sixth-generation jets are not just agile. They're stealth-focused. Their primary job is to deceive the enemy and return safely. The J-36 appears to have a large body. The belly section, where weapons are stored internally, to avoid external detection, seems to start just under the cockpit. From the video, the internal weapons bay looks about 6 meters long, matching the length of China's PL-17 long-range missile. From the cockpit design, it also looks like the jet can support two pilots sitting side by side. But here's something very interesting. This jet can also be operated remotely like a drone so a pilot can fly it either from inside or control it from the ground. Sixth-generation jets are integrated with AI systems that help with high-speed data calculations and improve agility. The J-36 appears to have three engines. The side engines seem to use belly-side air intakes, while the center one uses a dorsal intake, an opening on the top of the jet. Although no official details are out, the reason for three engines might be the lack of a single compact high-power engine. So to meet the high-power needs, three engines might be used. Or the center engine might be used to generate electricity, since future jets will need more onboard power for sensors, electronics, and AI. 
Higher power engines also release hotter gases, which can be detected by infrared sensors. To avoid this, the J36 likely uses advanced nozzles to cool down the exhaust before releasing it, making it harder to track. Here's one more thing. Did you notice there are no vertical fins or rudders on this jet? Normally, vertical parts help with stability and turning, but they also increase radar visibility. Instead, the J36 seems to rely only on flaps to help with lift during takeoff and landing. Thanks to advanced computer systems, these flaps also help the jet stay stable and maneuver during flight, even without vertical components. A big plus for stealth. Some experts say these jets may be harder to control without vertical surfaces. But remember, with this level of stealth, the enemy won't even know the jet is there until it's too late.